Hello there! In this video, I will tell you how to fix the cannot find vegas170.exe error. I am making this video because I recently had a problem with Vegas Pro 17 that got me lost and prevented me from editing videos. So in case you are experiencing the same issue where you got this error, then I suggest you to keep watching because I will tell you in a few steps how to solve this fast and easy. I have already fixed the problem for myself, but I will try to visualize the tutorial as good as possible. First, you install Sony Vega 17 from your computer. Open the start menu and search for RegEdit. Once in RegEdit, open this folder. H key local machine. Then open the software folder. Then search around for the WO6432 node folder. Open that one. And open the Sony Creative Software folder. Inside this folder you should have a folder from your Vegas installation. Delete the Vegas folder you will find there. You can close RegEdit. And install Vegas Pro 17. Do not start the program when it has finished installing. Once it is installed, go to the folder location where Vegas Pro 17's installation folder is located. And right mouse click on the folder and choose properties. Then click on the security tab. First look around and see if you can find the presence of users in the group. If you cannot see users in the box, then choose edit and then users and then click on add. Now in the white box enter users and then click on ok. Give it full permissions. The last one is going to be grayed out by default. Don't worry about that. Now go back and select the entry you just created. Now press ok and apply. And wait until you notice a Windows notification which confirms that the permissions are written. This could take a couple minutes. Make sure to stay focused so you can confirm by looking that you had the notification. And that's it. This should fix your Vegas Pro 17. And when you want to run it next time, it should start without problems. If this tutorial cannot fix the problem for you, or if you still have another issue going on, then I advise you to contact Magic's customer support. From my own experiences, they work pretty fast and describe the solution with enough details. I will leave a couple of useful links in the video description. Thanks for watching. Salut!